Six Secret is out about what Obama allowed his sexual predator best friend to do in White House. Over the past few years, Hollywood elites have been accused of sexual harassment. Even the news world has been overcome by sexual assault and harassment allegations against very high-profile and well-respected men. It seems that nobody is outside the reach of this. People that nobody would have imagined. From Bill Cosby to Bill O'Reilly, to Sean Hannity, and now Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein is a very accomplished Hollywood producer and filmmaker but his reputation is going down the toilet. Weinstein has been accused several times of inappropriate behavior with women. Turns out that this never-Trump Hollywood elitist was also best friends with President Obama and visited the White House during the former administration 13 different times. Since President Obama was only in office for eight years that means that on average he visited close to two times a year. President Obama did not even let his half-brother visit that many times. Now it is usually Democrats and liberals who crusade against sexual harassment like it is some badge of honor. But this scandal surrounding Weinstein shows their hypocrisy in full force. Weinstein has some of the best feminist Democratic lawyers working for him to quell this controversy. It seems these women's outrage only occurs when it is conservative men being accused. Apparently, if you are a Democrat and a liberal and also a sexual assaulter that makes it ok. Fox News reported the following. Hollywood kingpin and Democrat Party mega-donor Harvey Weinstein is turning fellow liberals into hypocrites as they join the battle to save his tattered reputation from claims he spent decades spraying on Hollywood starlets, according to critics. Anita Dunn, a key aide to President Obama, counseled the Tinseltown Titan after the New York Times reported that the powerful movie producer sexually harassed Ashley Judd, Rose McGowan and at least six other starlets. And his attorney, Lisa Bloom, who is tutoring him on how to not act like a pig, built her reputation representing women who claim to have been on the other end of bad behavior. Harvey Weinstein is such a wonderful feminist that he has feminists Lisa Bloom and Anita Dunn fronting for his disgusting misogyny. Tweeted New York Post pundit John Podhoretz. Weinstein, the co-founder of Miramax and producer of such mega-hits as Shakespeare in Love, Scream and Pulp Fiction, is in hot water after the New York Times published an investigative report citing several women accused him of sexual harassment throughout his decades in Hollywood. But in a preemptive strike, Weinstein lawyered up with Bloom, and appears to have called in favors from Democratic Party movers and shakers. Among those Weinstein turned to was public relations expert Anita Dunn, who worked on Obama's first campaign and briefly worked as White House communications director under the 44th president. Dunn, managing director of K Street firm Knickerbocker, has not weighed in on Weinstein's tawdry behavior, but her firm released a statement acknowledging she came to the aid of Weinstein while others were condemning his actions and abuse of power. Anita was asked to speak with him by a friend, the statement read. Harvey Weinstein and Mary Max are not now and have never been clients of our firm or Anita's. If you know Anita, you can only imagine what she said to him. Our commitment to defending women's rights remains. So is Anita done advising Harvey Weinstein in her capacity as director at Skidenickerbacher? Tweeted the Washington Free Beacon's Alex Griswold. Terrible look if a dem firm is spearheading. Not only has Weinstein appeared at the White House on multiple occasions, Molly Obama interned for him while she was in high school and he has held numerous fundraisers for the Democratic Party at his luxurious and expensive homes. Actions speak louder than words and this just speaks for itself. You are the company that you keep. Anyone and everyone knows that. If you hang around this kind of person that is what you will become and that is very telling. Fox News wrapped up their report by stating the following. Whether Dunn read Weinstein the riot act or advised him on how to wriggle out of a jam is not clear, but the mere fact she would meet with him could raise eyebrows, given the shocking nature of the accusations. According to the report from The Times, Weinstein sexually harassed numerous women that worked with him, Mara Max and, later, the Weinstein Company by propositioning them for massages, appearing naked or half-clothed and asking them to watch him bathe. Weinstein is a major donor the Democratic Party and even held fundraisers for Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016. 
Dunn mostly kept her ties to the Obama administration, even after leaving in 2009. She was a frequent visitor to the White House and helped Obama with debate prep in 2012. Meanwhile, the rap reports that some Democratic officials in Washington are donating the money that Weinstein previously raised for them to charity. Sexual assault and harassment should be a bipartisan issue. It should not be something that only Democrats or Republicans tout or work to correct, it should be something everyone is concerned about. But this behavior by Obama aides in protecting Weinstein by even taking a meeting just goes to show the selective outrage that many people have. It is terrible to do this when a certain party does it, but when one's own party does it then it is no problem. That is hypocrisy in its highest form and it is only when we take a good long hard look in the mirror and hold ourselves and our friends accountable the same way we hold our enemies and opponents can we move forward in a productive way.